Hello, and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. And once again, we're riding into uh, Clayton. And why are we riding into Clayton? Well, it's because it's uh, it's actually, it's just one of the easier roads to go to actually have a conversation. And also, get an enjoyable little uh, spin in for me. So that's where we're going this way. Um, also, I don't know, is the market still on? It's going to rain, like, badly later as well. Uh, if you notice, I'm not wearing my usual bike jacket. I'm wearing my 38 Ride uh, hoodie. And that's because in two days, uh, myself, Toaster, Rafe, uh, Hatter, JBK. And I actually can't remember Alex's uh, Instagram handle, but I'll share it at a later date. We're going riding uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway tip, tip to butt. Uh, so I wasn't, I didn't really want to risk getting my jacket wet because I only have one good bike jacket over here. Um, and that's actually one of the things I want to talk about is, you know, does anyone have any advice uh, for for your neighborhood uh, gorilla? Um, it's like neighborhood Spider-Man, except I am absolutely useless uh, to the local the local economy. Uh, you know, Spider-Man just wrecks buildings and catches crooks. I just add some bikes um to the to the scenery uh, that's actually a pretty a pretty pretty mur mural would you call that a mural i suppose you would call it a mural wouldn't you mur mu mur mural mural i'm so bad at pronouncing words it would be a problem if i cared um it's uh, actually it bothers a lot of people a lot i just realized i forgot to tuck my mic wire into my jacket so we might do a little pull in up ahead and do that. This one's not floopering around, you know, I don't like things floopering around. There's Boulevard, I mentioned that in the last one. Good, they do good, they do good coffee. Um, but I'll show you their, their old spot just down a little further. And I, I am still a big fan of the older spot. The new spot's fine, you know what I mean? Um, it's just, it. I don't know, it's it's now, it's not like, it's kind of lost its uh, je ne sais quoi. I don't know, is that, I don't know, that's probably not the correct term. It's lost its, its pizzazz. What were you doing? You're doing a little dippy divey? It's lost its, uh, it's a little bit of, I'm not going to say magic, it's feel, you know, it's, it's probably been down here a wee bit longer, and now it's not here anymore, so this is it, we'll just pull in here and check my mic. Uh, but this is the old spot uh, the boulevard used to be, and as you can see, you know, they used to have Nice little outdoor fake grass area for for sitting, uh, which was really nice. And um, I don't know, I just think it's a pity that that's, that's gone. And a very tattered American flag they should probably take down. Because I don't think you're supposed to let flags get that tattered, are you? I don't think so. I don't, I, I mean, I don't know much about flags. I also don't particularly... I mean, I wouldn't be someone who'd get upset, you know. If I saw someone, like, burning an Irish flag or something, I'd probably be like, you kind of suck. Um... But also, there is a particular group of people who do that once a year. So yeah, anyway, the thing that I actually would like help with is, um, I want a new jacket, like a second jacket to have. Preferably something that's a little bit more um, lighter for, for the summer months. Uh, one thing that I was looking at is the Climb Induction Pro. Um, but it's really, 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 really expensive and I don't know do I want to shell that out, but then I did say, okay, well, you know, you don't want to shell that out. Let's try getting a built jacket. So I ordered a built jacket from Revzilla, and, you know, all the measurements and all that were correct. It came, it fitted my chest, but it didn't fit my shoulder, so I don't know what way they do their measurements. And then it was also like a belly top. It was really short. And they do, like, they have tall sizes, but I bought the 3XL because they only went up to a 2XL tall. And like the 3XL, I got that because it was actually, it's, it's considerably bigger than my chest. And I was like, okay, if I ever want to wear anything underneath this. Uh, ooh, we. If I ever want to wear, that was, that was entirely my fault, by the way, you know. Um, there was someone turning right and stuff. That was, that was on me, which is why I was ready for something to go wrong. Hands on the brakes. Um, I always think it's funny, you know, I could, I could make a rage video of that now and like slap wing mirrors and stuff and... You know, do the thing to get your views, but uh, that was my fault. That was my fault. Poor, poor judgment. And that's why I slowed down and just got myself out of it. Instead of getting angry. And look, I'm still on my bike. One piece. Don't you dare. <sighs> yeah, good choice. Um, but yeah, so the built, the built is like literally belly top style, um, which is absolutely 
hilarious, really. I don't understand how... I don't get it, you know? I don't get it. But... Yeah, so is there any other manufacturers, brands that, that make things that fit me? Because, like, my old RST jacket that I used to have uh, at home in Ireland, great jacket, lasted for years. However, you know, that fit my arms and shoulders, but then, like, you could you could have fit an entire family of five in around my belly. So it's like, oh, if someone is this broad and tall, clearly they are very heavy, which, like, is fine. I mean, we should cater to people who are very heavy, too. They should be able to buy clothes, you know? Um, but also, you should be able to buy clothes if you're not very heavy, but also broad and tall. Um, so, yeah, that's my, that's my question. Does anyone know of any good manufacturers that will... You know that that offer them off the shelf that won't cost me like five hundred plus dollars for a jacket because I look I understand Climb is a is very good quality brand, uh, you know in in no way taken away from from Climb and and the work they do they make they make really phenomenal gear, and one day I would love to buy something from Climb but that is not today. You know I did ask a couple of my friends uh, before I. My, I, I came out today for suggestions topics for a video just because I was sitting at home I was like I want to go make a video on the bike. I knew I could come up with stuff as I was going myself, but I do always like to get topics, so, you know, if you have any suggestions, uh, throw them in the, in the comments. Uh, and anyway, one of the suggestions was, what is my opinion on, on car-based infrastructure? Um, and I'll be honest, you know, in, in uh, parts of, of, of Europe, I think certain infrastructure is not car-based enough. Certain bits of infrastructure could really do more for cars, like parking spaces in Ireland are too narrow. Like yes, I can fit the I can fit the car into the parking space, but then I can't get my door open to get out, which is which is a key part of parking your car. You need to be able to get out. So, you know, back back home, definitely there's some things that that should be worked on to to make it a little bit better for cars, M mainly parking spaces, to be honest. Um, but then over here, everything is too car centric. Like all of the roads are designed to pretty much just be dead boring um, for you know the giant land yachts like the one we just drove past you know and I owned a giant land yacht for a while and it was cool it was fun it was comfortable but um, I just I don't get it I think you'd, you'd have a lot more fun in life if people you know were able to walk a little bit more I think I think I think I, I would much rather have like walkable towns and cities like living in Clayton is really nice because the whole downtown is walkable it has nice footpaths um, Greenville, where we used to live in North Carolina, was the complete opposite. The, there was no footpaths anywhere, and it was like a, a bit of a joke. Because it's a college town, you know, like you think people would want to walk and stuff, and then you end up with a lot of drink drivers because people drive to go 15 minutes instead of just walking. Um, so that was a little bit baffling to me. But yeah, I, I don't like um, just like pure car based infrastructure to answer your question, uh, Mr. Ragov. Um, I think we could do we could do a lot better, you know. Uh, have more roads, even if there's like more roads, you know, similar to the Blue Ridge Parkway. The Blue Ridge Parkway obviously is a is a road that's, you know, no commercial vehicles or whatever else, which I think is is fantastic. More of those, you know, roads that are just for enjoyment, especially in America where people actually still like automobiles, um, you know, in general, bikes, cars, trucks, whatever, they actually like them. Whereas in Ireland, I mean, it was bad before I left, and it's just gotten consistently worse. It's gotten consistently worse since I was a child. That, you know, people who actually enjoy, you know, tuner cars, modifying cars, bikes, whatever. If they, if they actually find, like, vehicles as a hobby, um, they're kind of vilified. Not, in a, not, like, badly vilified, unless you're on a bike. Then you're, then you're just a, a, piece of, a piece of human, human scum, apparently. Um, but yeah, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. Now you have average speed cameras, and uh, realistically, we don't need them. You know what I mean? Uh, you sp fix speed cameras, and realistically, you don't need them. And they just all... Let's go this way. Uh, you ju they just all kind of suck. And I hate them. I absolutely hate... I hate average speed cameras. Average speed cameras, in my opinion, are wrong. Because it's uh, guilty until proven innocent. You know what I mean? Which is the whole... It's backwards. Uh, I, I, I've talked about them before. I won't keep going. But I absolutely utterly despise average speed cameras um, because I think I think like speed limits need to be more flexible like right now I'm actually doing the speed limit I could easily do 20% over the speed limit here and be very safe and still be able to stop in time 
Um, and would happily welcome a test for that if someone ever wanted to test my braking distance. I, I, I guarantee you I can. And that comes to, you know, I don't think all this car-centric stuff, like, yeah, we make roads easier because people can't really drive too good, and we make, um, you know, speed limits designed for people who can't judge stopping distances because they can't drive too good. And, you know, all this stuff just adds up to people can't drive too good or ride too good, and that's that's the problem, you know, is, is everything car-centric-wise is based to the lowest common denominator. Um, and I, let's go right. And I think, especially since I think I was a cop back there and he's taking a while to pull out, so he might just be like, I'm going to pull over the bike today because he's a bike, so let's uh, leave. <laughs> And we have left the building. Um, but that, that's, that's my biggest problem with, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. It's just it, lowest common denominator. Um, I, and I also, like, vehemently disagree with lowest common denominator laws. Basically, car-based infrastructure, I don't like it. Uh, I, think, I think, like, why can't I walk here? Why can't I run here? You know, why is there not, when we're building roads in, in, over here in America, why don't they do, like, proper you know, proper side so people can cycle safely, people can walk safely, etc. I think it, it would be a pretty minor thing, um, you know, provided you don't... Oh, let's go this way. Provided you don't, like, ruin the place um, and try, like, buy a load of farmland, because I know... Mr. Mr. The Flinch Motovlog is currently dealing with that issue that, you know, people are like, oh, let's build another strip through this area and uh, it's like a big highway and it will cut straight through his farm which I mean I don't like that but taking a little bit more from here would do absolutely nothing uh, this is the greenway by the way I've cycled along here it's very nice and that's what I'm talking about so in rally it's nice the greenway exists um, which is why I'm, I'm happy I live near rally you know you can walk on it you can cycle on it you can run on it it's it's just it's it's a very nice amenity and a very important amenity in uh, modern life I think because you know, we're building all these freaking mega cities and welding people together. And that, in my opinion, that's absolute misery. I think there's too many people um, being close together. And I, I hate it. I hate it. And I, I, I don't think it's a good, I don't think it's a good counteraction to, you know, overly car reliant society is, you know, shoving everyone into this tiny little pocket. I mean, like, well, now you have public transport. I'm like, you can have a blend of both. Uh, you don't need to. You don't need to stick everyone together because that kind of sucks. That looks like a dead end down there, but I'm gonna go check because why not? This is really pretty around here. I do like it. There's lots of like dust on the road though, so you have to be. You have to be careful. Is that a big rock or what the hell is that? It looks like a big rock. It is a dead end. What is this dead end? We all wonder, approaching in wonderment. What is it? I don't know. City of Rally. I don't know what it is. All the deliveries. I don't know what it is. It's cool though. Is that a rock? I don't know. Is that a rock? I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, wait, there's a big pipe. Maybe it's a water facility, gas facility. I don't know. It's cool. Bit of clutchless shifting for the boys. Um, my brother has started riding uh, like scooters and stuff. Um, good on you. Good on you, Davey. You know, uh, he's over in, was in Vietnam, I'm not sure where he is now, maybe he's still in Vietnam, I don't know, I don't pay attention enough. Uh, he's enjoying himself, living life, and riding bikes, so, you know, um, he's cool now, he can, he can officially claim to be my brother, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he could always do that, don't be silly people. I mean, he's definitely cooler now, but you know, we don't need to, this is so pretty. I didn't know I could come this way, what's this? Waste disposal, Wake County. Hello. Oh. Oh. Little break over the crest. She's still a nervous Nelly at times this bike, you know. Oh, what is that? Someone dropped all their stuff. Silly gooses. That wasn't that was, that's nice. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, but yeah, no, this bike's still a little bit nervous, like on and off throttle. Hey, what the hell is going on here? 
That's a cool silo. Is that like something you'd find in a, an old movie? Like a... Or not even a movie. Maybe like a series like The Walking Dead. That's cool, you know? You would definitely find some zombies like grown into the the brush there. And you'd get there and they'd be like... Pull themselves out. And you'd be like... Ah, zombies. Not ideal. And then you would introduce them to the Rictatorship. That's probably going to miss most people. Fly over their heads. Oh... Sorry, crossing the road here. Yeah. Oh, the boy's going into the bushes. <laughs> oh, yee. Oh, there's like golf carts in there. They're golfers. So my point stands. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, anyway. So car-based infrastructure, uh, not ideal. I think there's a lot of better options. And I think, you know, if, if people use bikes more, especially in this type of... Um, I was going to say economy, but that's not the right word. Climate. I, I think people would be happier uh, because bikes are class. They'd be healthier because bikes are class and you're not sitting like in a weird position in a car. That's really pretty all the time. Um, and, you know, bikes are class and also bikes are class. And also parking would be reduced. Traffic would be reduced. That's another thing that's absolutely mind blowing to me that people get so angry over here over bikes filtering. Not splitting, filtering. Like, stop at stoplights, bikes filtering past, and people get mad because they say we're skipping the queue. They're two different queues, people. We're not on the same wait list because bikes are... We get going faster than you. We're not waiting around for you. I mean, if you catch up and are speeding, that's on you. You're speeding, you know. If people people stick to the, the rules or whatever. And then, you know, if, if you don't stick to the rules, people also get mad because, oh, bikes think they're all that. And I, yeah, no, some bikes, some bikers do, you know, some bikers are a little bit uh, extra silly gooses. I don't like this road, this road's boring, I'm gonna turn around. Um, but you know, most bikers are not, are not that. Just gonna do a little turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you never come around. Turn around. I am a wonderful singer, you know, singing voice of uh, an angle. An angle grinder, that is. <laughs> His bike is a naughty, naughty boy. Whitfield, you have been selected. Hard on the brakes. Duck it in. And look, it's recovered because my suspension is sprung correctly. Oh yeah, and then another thing they asked me to, to uh, mention was my thoughts on sidecars. Um, I think sidecars can be cool. I have a few few friends who have. Oh, look at you! A big old turkey vulture. Um, sidecars can be cool, you know. Uh, Wolf and Wheels, one person to mention, she brings her dog in her sidecar, which, I mean, is why I would have a sidecar. The Pongster also used to take his dog in a sidecar. What the heck? All this prettiness, and you just go and build these boring cookie cutter homes again. Stop it! Build good ones. Okay, they have double garages, though. They can hang. I accept them. Double garages are fine. Clutchless shifting. It's, it's really easy. I'll go. I'll do a video on clutchless shifting if you want. Um, some bikes like it more than others. The V-Strom hates it, but this bike likes it. Um, so that was that a Wonder Woman sign. I could be very wrong. Turkey Vulture again. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm upsetting you. Um, it's definitely eating something back there. But I mean, personally, sidecar, like, would I want to do, for instance, a Blue Ridge Parkway trip with a sidecar? No. Um, one of the things I love about bikes is leaning a bike, you know, Co going through corners on a bike. Um, and honestly, if I was ever like, oh, I really want to travel with someone, like, right beside me or whatever else, uh, in a vehicle that doesn't turn as well as a bike, for instance, um, I would probably just go back to cars, you know, because I also really like cars, you know, like Civic Type or something for twisty roads, I'd love one of those. Uh, probably wouldn't do what Gears and Gasoline are doing right now and rebuilding a very crashed one, but, you know, I'd still, I'd, get, I'd, try, I'd try buy an older one, not one of the, the new, new ones are crazy money. But, you know, I'd, I'd personally probably just get a car, because you can carry more passengers, um, you can corner better a lot of the time um you know you can carry luggage you have air conditioning and a, and a good sound system i love bikes i love how bikes ride i love the power to weight you can get from a bike like you're talking 
you know, supercar acceleration on something that, for instance, costs like six thousand um, dollars. I, that's why I like bikes and the leaning through corners and whatnot and and, and just you know the general f how a bike feels I've never ridden with a sidecar maybe maybe it would change my mind but I know from what I've seen I don't think so I think sidecars are cool but I personally can never envision myself buying one um, you know I just buy a cruiser and tell someone to sit on the back rather than on the side you know I, I don't know uh, if you have a sidecar please let me know am I like crazy off off base with how I'm describing it like is it actually more closer to a bike than I think I don't see how it could be but you know I have been wrong a lot of times in my life and I will be wrong again plenty of times in my life oh this guy uh, was there anything else I don't actually remember was there anything else I can't remember. I feel like someone asked me something, uh, say something else, but it, oh, the, the true meaning of happiness here. What is happiness? How do you attain happiness? Was that it? I don't remember. Um, how do you attain happiness? By a motorcycle, honestly. Uh, it makes me the happiest. Um, like a, a four day work week would also be great. You know, that would be nice. I think people work too much. I really think people work too much. And I don't mean that in like the developed world. I mean that everywhere. I think people work too much. And I think. You know, we should probably work to uh, make that less. I think that would be better. Oh, what's that? Don't like that. Dodge it. Duck into this one. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Around. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I mean, bikes make me incredibly happy. Learning about bikes, uh, riding bikes with other people talking to people about bikes um, all of it all of it makes me happy I don't think I have much else to say today to be honest oh I do I, I forgot I forgot there's a lot of people who have messaged me recently um, and I have not watched the video yet so I might again change and update uh, my opinions once I do watch the video but apparently her two wheels made a video on DCT and was like uh, liked it and stuff because I've had so many people message me like see someone else has used DCT and you said mean things about my beloved DCT and you were wrong and her two wheels has more subscribers than you and that makes her more right number one I do not put I do not value a person on how many subscribers they have right that's a, a ridiculous concept her two wheels makes absolutely fine content. This is not a reflection on her whatsoever. It's people who have sent me messages on Instagram. Um, you're a bunch of silly gooses, right? Because I never, and I've said this so many times, I have, I never ever denigrated DCT. My comments at the end of the video on DCT after I wrote it for the second time was, hey, this is a good technology. I am glad it exists for people who want it and need it. However, I can't see I will ever buy it without suffering a life-changing injury or disability because I like manually shifting my gears. Um, and it is an automatic. Even if it is an automaticized manual, which it, it technically is, it's still an automatic. If the, if the transmission shifts the gear for you, it is by definition an automatically shifting transmission, which is automatic, okay? Just, just don't come at me. It's, it's, it's a ridiculous point that people make. That it's uh, actually a manual transmission, but it changes gears all by itself. That's automatic. <laughs> that is literally automatic. What are you, what are you talking about, you crazy person? And I am getting aggravated because I have gotten literally hundreds of messages from people watching that DCT video because it's been watched by quite a few people, and they're like, "Why are you so against technology? I hate you." And I'm like, "You clearly didn't listen to anything I said in the video." The entire video, I am wildly impressed by how that bike rides. It was an Africa Twin DCT. I use sport mode, I use the, the button shifters. I absolutely, utterly abhor, hate the button shifters. They're awful. They're not in an ergonomic position. Um, they're not nice to use. There's still too much of a delay in them. I just don't like them, okay? That is my personal opinion and preference. And if you are allowed to have a personal opinion and preference, so am I, okay? Um, 
I'm not saying yours is not valid. If you like DCT, I literally said that in the video. That is absolutely fine. I don't. Uh, and I won't. And you're not going to change my mind by getting mad at me. Um, and I'm not trying to change your mind. If you like DCT, you like DCT. Good on you. Go enjoy it. I'm never going to buy your bike from you. And I'm never going to buy a DCT new. Unless I get an injury that means I have to. Um, so I will watch her two wheels' video. I'll see what points she made. I'm sure it was a perfectly good video. I'm sure whatever points she made made completely, completely, complete sense for her. Um, like I said, this has absolutely nothing to do with her two wheels. It is not a reflection on her two wheels. Um, I've never met her. I've never spoken to her. But uh, from everyone who has met her and spoken to her, she seems perfectly lovely. So nothing, nothing to do with her, okay? Um, before anyone sends this to her and is like, the gorilla biker is slandering you, and he has way less subscribers than you. Therefore, he is a piece of human garbaggio, and you should put him on blast. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, no, I, I have not changed my opinions. I still would not go buy a DCT. I still think it is a very good technology, um, and I still think the quick shifters are awesome. So, I mean. I don't know why we need to go further than that. I know BMW are doing a different thing now where it's basically like a, basically a DCT, but you, instead of having the buttons, you shift with your foot, which is like an all the time quick shifter, but you don't have a clutch. I still prefer, I prefer, I prefer having a clutch. I prefer a clutch. So like as good as BMW's transmission will be in theory, personally, I would still rather go with a manual that has a quick shifter so I can use the clutch when and where I want to use it. It's about having options. Um, I still drive a manual car. I tried an automatic, didn't really like it. I prefer a manual and that's absolutely fine. You know, if you don't like a manual, that is absolutely 100% fine, people. You don't need to be upset about other people liking different things. You, you really don't. Anyway, this video is probably way too long. So um, if you watch, thank you very much for watching. If you have any thoughts or opinions on anything I have said, please leave them down in the comments at the Pretty Church. Um, and yeah, until next time, a very special thank you to all of my patrons. I love you all very much and I appreciate your support and I'm looking forward to seeing one of my patrons, Hatter, um, next week for the Blue Ridge Parkway trip, uh, the tip to butt trip. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Until next time, adios. Outro crew. Watch them clibbins, brother. If you could see me on one bike, one bike that you would really like me to ride, um, what would it be? If there's one bike over every other bike out there that you're like, I'd really like to see the Gorilla Biker ride that and give his opinions and thoughts on it, what, what would it be? Yeah. And if there's one bike actually you would like to ride to test, what would it be? I would wish there was more easy options to test ride bikes, like a proper test ride. I don't mean a a test ride with a, someone with a fancy jacket following you in the background, you know what I mean? Um, something that you could actually go away for a few hours. Because a rider share is good and all, but it's still really expensive. I do like rider share, but it is very expensive if you want to insure the thing properly. But, you know, hopefully in time all that will kind of work itself out. But yeah, that's it, Outro Crew. Bye, Outro Crew.